Last month, we released a new product called Community Analyst for anyone who wants to understand more about a community or place. Community Analyst follows the new pattern of software as a service with no locally installed software, hosted in the cloud, and a focused solution providing mapping capability with thousands of variables, demographic, lifestyle, and business variables. To learn more about this, please welcome our Community Analyst Product Manager, Brenda Wolf. <laughs> Thanks, John. Thanks. I am thrilled to show you Community Analyst because I think it will really help you to extend the reach of GIS within your organizations. Community Analyst is an easy application designed to allow anyone to create maps and explore their community. The application comes with more than 6,000 variables, including Census 2010 information, demographic projections to the year 2015, and the inclusion of federal data. So that means I can map something such as adult diabetes rates, which is data coming from the CDC. Community Analyst makes it easy to filter and query the map, so I can make areas with the highest rates of diabetes really stand out. Because I have access to thousands of demographic variables, I can quickly turn on something such as median household income to see how it compares. A unique feature about Community Analyst is that it comes with more than 2,200 variables about behaviors and lifestyles. So I can map really interesting things, such as how many people smoke more than eight packs of cigarettes per week. What's nice about Community Analyst is that it allows me to drill down into the data. So I can keep drilling down to lower levels of geography all the way down to the block group level. In other words, the scale of the data in Community Analyst can match the scale of the decisions you're trying to make. So you can see how it's easy and fun to come into the application and start exploring all of this data. But how is this useful? Well, you can imagine with all of this up-to-date data how a policymaker could use that to really understand the local impacts of the policy decisions they're trying to make. Or a relief agency could use it to know where to better allocate resources after a natural disaster. So let's, let's look at that exact example. Let's take the case of Joplin, Missouri. Earlier this spring, a tornado struck Joplin, causing great devastation in that community. And as I sat watching the news, I thought, wow, how do you even recover after something like that? Where do you begin the rebuilding process? So to answer that question, I tried to put myself in the place of a relief agency trying to make that decision. Because Community Analyst is integrated with ArcGIS Online, the first thing I did was search to see if anyone had entered up-to-date information from Joplin. And fortunately, Surdex had put up-to-date imagery in ArcGIS Online. You can see from this imagery of Joplin where that tornado cut through the community. With this image, I can actually use this to get reports. Simply by using the drawing tool within Community Analyst, I can click and draw on the map and outline the area for which I would like summarized demographic information. So with this area, I can order any of the predefined reports in Community Analyst, but I'm going to run the demographics and income report because it provides basic summary information about the community. From this report, for that exact area I just drew on the map, I could see that almost 15,000 people were impacted and more than 6,000 households. So this gives me a big picture of the overall impact of the tornado. But if I were a relief agency, I would have scarce resources, and I might want to know where to better allocate those resources. So to do that, I would want to find the most vulnerable populations. I can do that within Community Analyst by using a query by attribute tool called Smart Map Search. This tool allows me to pick multiple variables, set my search ranges for those variables, and then it'll show me all of the areas on the map that match. So to find vulnerable populations, I'm going to look for low-income areas that are not likely to have purchased homeowner's insurance. And now I'll see those areas in green on the map. To get information out to this community, we probably want a central location where they can go to get information. 
Fortunately, the Joplin Community Center was not in the path of the tornado, so that might be a good place to send people to learn more. But I want to make sure that this location is accessible to most of the population. To do that, I can simply add a three or five minute drive time around that point. And given the looks of those drive times, it looks like they're covering a lot of the population. So I would deem that as a good location. So if I wanted to share this map or any of the maps in Community Analyst, I can do so using the custom PDF tool. This allows me to create a PDF of my map and share it. So you can see, within just a few minutes, I was able to come in, do some analysis on where to allocate resources, and explore lots of information about the community.